everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Welcome to Sunday Morning Futures. I'm Maria Bartiromo. Today, clinging to power. Are the walls closing in on Joe Biden? Or will the president and the first lady, Jill, keep fighting the calls to step down as Democrats scramble for plan B after the president's weak performance at last week's debate? Is Joe Biden compromised by communist China? A fair question. Peter Schweitzer, the president of the Government Accountability Institute and author of Blood Money, Why the Powerful Turn a Blind Eye While China Kills Americans. It's all right here right now on Sunday Morning Futures. Not, in fact, made any contact, any, any, any progress with China. We are the lowest trade deficit with China since 2010. We have the largest deficit with China. He gets paid by China. He's a Manchurian candidate. He gets money from China. We have, so I think he's afraid to deal with them or something. And that's President Trump attacking President Biden's China policy amidst rising CCP espionage and CCP aggression against America. From sending a spy balloon over the continental country to setting up secret police stations, surveillance all over the place on U.S. soil, the president has yet to confront Chinese President Xi Jinping over the origins of COVID-19 and the cover-up that followed, or the surge in Chinese migrants entering the United States illegally. 50,000 Chinese migrants coming into America in the last year, 50,000. This comes as House Republicans continue their impeachment inquiry against President Biden over alleged influence peddling, money laundering, and bribery, according to the House Oversight Committee. In evidence uncovered by House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, President Biden received a personal check in 2017 from James and Sarah Biden for $40,000, which they claimed was in a, a repayment of a loan from the president. That $40,000 was 10 percent of a $400,000 payment from China. During his congressional testimony, James Biden confirmed that the $40,000 came from funds he received from CEFC China Energy, which was backed by the CCP. Joining me now is Peter Schweitzer. He's the president of the Government Accountability Institute and author of the new book, Blood Money, Why the Powerful Turn a Blind Eye While China Kills Americans, available right now. Peter, thanks very much for being here. Give us your reaction to uh, Joe Biden's commentary on China during that debate. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really pretty remarkable. I mean, look, the bottom line is that Joe Biden and his family have received collectively tens of millions of dollars from Chinese businessmen, beginning really when he became vice president of the United States, and that has deeply affected and shaped his approach to China. And all you have to do is look at his record and look at the wild inconsistencies that have occurred since that money began to flow. In the 1990s, for example, Joe Biden led the charge on Capitol Hill in calling out the Chinese government for their involvement in the international heroin trade. He held hearings about it. He talked vocally about it. Uh, the money started to flow when he was vice president. Look at fentanyl. The Chinese are the senior partners. The Mexican drug cartels are the junior partners in this poison that is killing 100,000 Americans a year. Joe Biden won't talk about it. He was vocal about it with heroin in the 90s. He's now quiet about it. And I think the money was a key factor. Look at the issue of uh, financial regulation. You know, Joe Biden throughout his career uh, has been in favor of regulations of financial markets. He led the charge on Dodd-Frank. What was he doing at the same time, Maria? when this money was flowing to his family from China, he was negotiating a deal with the Chinese to lessen their transparency and regulation in the United States as it, related to, as it related to accounting standards uh, for them issuing stock on U.S. New US stock exchanges. So the point is, you look for the fact that money flows, they're engaging in behaviors that are wildly inconsistent with their record, and each and every time those actions favor the government of China. To me, the evidence is crystal clear. Well, I mean, you just mentioned something that I just did a whole Fox Nation special on, and that is those accounting standards. We just did this special called Underwriting the Enemy. It is available right now on Fox Nation. And what we talked about were the thousands of Chinese companies that trade on U.S. exchanges, the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq, and they don't follow the same accounting rules that every other public company has to follow, uh, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission. And these companies, many of them are tied to the Chinese military. So is that something do you, do, that you you believe Joe Biden was paid for? Was he paid by the Chinese to allow these thousands of companies to trade on our exchanges and not follow the rules? 
Well, uh, when you say pay, obviously the implication is quid pro quo. I think it's more of a retainer agreement. I don't think there's a specific trade-off, but it's equally corrupt in my mind. Yes, he led the negotiations um, on that issue with China. He led a delegation to China in 2011 on that very issue uh, and pushed aggressively for it. And the thing to point out, Maria, you did this in your special, and I think I do it in my book, these are not victimless crimes. This is not just a case of the Biden family getting money and Joe Biden doing some things that the Chinese kind of like. This actually has real implications. Uh, these Chinese companies ripped off American investors because they did not have to abide by the same accounting standards that any other company does in the world that's listed on our stock exchanges. And look at the issue of fentanyl. China controls every step of the fentanyl uh, production phase in the United States, from the pre precursors, to the pill presses, to the money laundering. It is a Chinese operation with the drug cartels as the junior partner. A hundred thousand people die. Joe Biden will not talk about it. He will not list China as a, as a country involved in the drug trade. His own secretary of state last year told CBS News those precursors might, some of them, be arriving in Mexico.